Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts, sitting here in old black bed and bum blam. And I got an unusual day going on, an unusual event that has happened. Uh, if you looked back, or if you follow me any at all, a month or so back, I went to the car auction and I bought a, uh, a 2005 Isuzu Ascender. It looks like a Chevy Trailblazer. It actually had the 4.2 Vortec motor in it. So I buy it. Drive it home, it does great. Um, drive it around the house, pull it in the garage, I detail it. Um, bring it out here to the yard because I'm out here six days a week and during business hours. So I thought, well, I'll just take it out there and it way somebody wants to buy it. So I waited on this title to get back, it gets back. We, we bring it out here, it does awesome. Every morning, Peg will start it up and let it run for a few minutes and we'll shut it back off. And so I get it on Marketplace for... 1550. And of course, I had a bunch of people, uh, 800, 900. I was like, no, nah, I'll put it in my junkyard and park it out first. So, gentleman calls me yesterday and he says, hey, look, my uh, one of my employees' wife uh, blew up her car yesterday, uh, Lexus SUV. And he said, uh, I was trying to help them find something that's reasonable and I'll buy it and then they can pay me back. And I said, well, that's cool. So he sets up a time, he shows up, and uh, him and her, and so I just, they walk up, I hand them the key, and I said, well, go back there and start it up. And actually, Anthony and Sammy were sitting here, and I was talking to them, and and uh, I heard him fired up, and I look back, and they're opening up all the doors and checking it out, and, you know, and I give them five minutes, let them talk about it or whatever, so I get out, and I walk back there, and he's like, you know, hey, it, it's, it's a pretty nice vehicle, blah, 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 and so... uh he says, can we drive it? And I said, yeah, you know, I don't have insurance per se on it, but drive it up the road. You know, just don't get out on the highway, but you can drive it up and down the road here all you want. So they leave in it and uh, they're gone for, I don't know, seven, eight, ten minutes and they come back. And he said, she likes it. But I said, listen to this. And I had not never noticed the sound. And Anthony's like, well, it didn't really sound bad, but it was a, an additional sound and uh, he's like, all right, probably be all right. We're going to, we'll go, you know, we'll get him an oil change and, and what have you. And uh, it, you know, I don't know. So anyway, he, he says, what's, you know, what's the best you'll do? And I told him, I came down a little bit. I mean, at 1550, there's not really a whole lot of room to come down. But I came down just a little bit and they were happy with it. So he says, we'll take it. We shook hands. Uh, he told her, so if you want to drive it, drive it up the road and we'll go over here and we'll take care of the business. So he walks over to the truck. I get the title out. I fill out my part of it, fill out a receipt, you know, mark it as he is. And she comes back and she's loving it and, uh, pays me and they leave. Tickle to death. About 10 minutes later, he calls me. It blowed up. It absolutely got him about eight mile from here motor went out of it so he calls me he's like dude i know we bought it you know i know it's as is you know he said if it'd been a couple months you know we just chalk it up as that's just a roll of the dice and you know you buy a used vehicle it happens but he said man is there anything you can do and i was like crap you know by law i didn't have to um uh, I was like, dang, I, man, I ain't never had this happen to me. You know, I've been dealing and trading on cars for all my life. And I've never had a daggone vehicle that I've drove, but it had 259,000 miles on. So, I mean, you know, there you go. So I said, well, here, I, I can give you this much money back and you just keep it. He said, well, but we still got to try to go out and find her something. Would you give us? this much money back and you keep it so it was a very fair you know from him you know it was very fair um uh, you know it was it was, a, it was a few hundred dollars he said we just come back up and you know this market up is one of those things that happens and and i was like yeah you know and i'll just so i called anthony and and i said hey can you get one of the guys run out there because it's sitting on the side of the road and then 
right at my Walmart and it didn't have a tag on it and I didn't want them to impound it. So anything, so while I'm actually out there close to it, let me and Sammy run and make sure it's off the road and then I'll send one of the rollbacks out there to get it. That's okay. So in, in fact, he did. He said, it started, but he said, I got it across the road and off. It was actually left in a turning lane. So um, luckily, I, I hope they've not impounded it. But anyway, he got it off the road. So the, the man and the woman gets back up here and she'd been crying. And man, it just you know broke my heart. And she's like, I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips. I said, well, honey, you know, that's just part of it. You know, we'll, we'll figure something out. And the guy said, well, didn't you say a while ago you had another car at your house? I said, well, I got this Infinity. And I said, but it's the two windows don't roll down because it had been broken into. Mm -hmm. And and I said, I've not, they both look like they're off track. I said, so I've not taken the door panels off or done anything like that to fix it. And one of the factory wheels was stolen. And uh, so I hollered at Peg and I said, hey, take a battery out to the house because it needed a battery on it. And I said, see if this thing will fire up. So I look up. Seven or eight minutes later, they're pulling back in and they're following Peg. He drove it back out here and we put some air in the cars. And she's liking it. And he said, So, you know, where are you at on this one? I had to fix the windows and bought the wheel. I definitely was going to be up, but I still wanted to be a little more up than where I was at on the Azuzu, just like it was. And I was like, You know, crap, just take it. And he said, Well, how about this? He said, We'll give you her little Lexus because it's junk, you know, maybe sell some parts off of it. And I said, well, that would help ease the pain. I said, Cause this has got a hundred thousand miles less. It's got 148, you know, heated seats, air seats, leather. I mean, it was a nice car, but it needed a little bit of stuff done to it. So drag out the paperwork, done that. So Anthony called. So I got your car off the road. Cody's supposed to be going and getting it. And uh, he'll bring it up there, and I'll give him a few bucks for moving it. And uh, so hopefully uh, that Infinity is a good car. And I think it is, but I thought the Zuzu was. But the Zuzu did have 259,000 miles. So now I'll be getting it back, put it up in the junkyard. I'm losing, per se, what I would have paid for it. If someone said, hey, I got an Azuzu that you could part out, I wouldn't have paid for it what I paid for it at the auction. But, and I'm actually not making what I probably could have on the Infinity, but I made some monies. And then if he brings me hers tomorrow, which I believe he will, he said he'd be up here around lunch with it, that'll kind of help even it spread it out a little bit where it don't kill me. But I felt like it was the right thing to do. Um, I was just struggling with it because I ain't gonna lie, I, I needed the money. It was, you know, it'd been a little slow and weather's been nasty. And I was like, you know, man, that $1,400, that's what I got out of it. I said, that's, that's a good little lick. That'll help some. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I got to keep the money, but I gave them a little bit better car. But, uh, you know, she was hugging me and thanking me and, you know, God bless me. And I said, honey, you know, the Lord does work in mysterious ways, and I, you, you got to be able to take him, you know, your kids to school and all that. And uh, you know, there's more cars. So, but on the bright side, I don't have to look for the wheel. I don't have to fix the windows. And we we'll get the Zuzu back. I'll list it, part it out, and uh, then he brings me the Lexus. Do the same thing with it. So it'll, in the long run, I'll be maybe better off money's wise, but today it didn't <laughs> it didn't kind of work out that way but uh but that's all right you know i thank the lord in the good times i thank him in the bad because it's you know it's all it's all part of the master plan i guess but uh so yeah i don't know what you would have done like i said i got the receipt marked as is they signed it but still yet it was it was a little quick for something to tear up so anyway that's been my day thus far but the timber guys took out a huge load of white oak, so hopefully they they done good money. And uh, I'm gonna go. I gotta go up in the junkyard and take some pictures of for a guy. And I uh, got some other ones coming tomorrow, Saturday, which tomorrow I think is supposed to rain. But you know, they show up, they can get out in the rain and pull the parts. But um, I hope y'all are having a good day. Nope, nobody's blowed their motor up in their vehicles. Uh, 
Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know how you would have handled it. Uh, I felt like trying to make it work was the best uh, for me uh, and them. I just didn't want that on my conscience that, yeah, you said it was as is. And he even said, you know, I know it's, it's a roll of the dice when you buy a used car. Said all of that before he left. But at the same time, I don't think any of us thought that he wouldn't get seven, eight mile down the road. So, but uh, let me know what you think. Uh, please subscribe. I'm really close to 1,500. Last time I looked, I think I was four or five away. But uh, so if I get to 1,500, then I'm only 98,500 from having 100,000. So help me out there. Check out Beamer and Son Garage up in Bethel, Ohio. And I'm going to wrap this one up right quick and uh, catch you in the next one. Have a good one.